Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Weasel and today we're playing Spin Tires, a, let's call it an off-road simulator because this is the closest that I could get to describing this game, which is a lot of fun. Uh, some of you might know this game already or have seen the tech demo that was released quite some time ago. This game was then successfully kickstarted and fully developed and is now released in a full version, not early access, in a full version on Steam and it is a lot of fun. So let's jump right into the game and I'm going to show you what this game is about. I'm going to hit continue because I've been playing on my single player map for a little bit and I don't want to lose any progress here. So we're starting off at our garage where we have some trucks available that we can drive and we currently have selected our little Jeep here. This is a really beautiful game. They really did an outstanding job with the looks of it. But I'm jumping ahead of myself. Let's talk about the cars. So your goal in this game is to, well, do whatever you want. This is pretty much the goal of the game. You can drive wherever you want and you can unlock new vehicles that are scattered across the map. Basically uncloak the map by driving to these different cloaking points or actually uh, complete some objectives. But we're going to talk about those objectives later. For right now, I want to uncloak more of the map. And uh, you have four or five maps, I'm not too sure right now that you can pretty much explore. And we have our little truck here, our little Jeep, not truck, sorry. And we are, well, going to be on our way towards the objective. You might say, well, then I'm just gonna drive straight through the forest and uh, we're gonna, do, gonna be fine. Let's click here so we have our little navigational line, which leads directly through the forest. I'm just going to show you why that's not the best idea. You might have already an idea because we, well, I have a little bit of mud going on here. This is a very realistic driving simulator or off-road simulator. So you can't just like glitch out or drive over trees or, you know, bounce into them because you also can take damage. Yes, if you drive a car against a tree, it will break. This is how usually real life works. Trust me on that. Not that I've ever driven a car against a tree, but this is what happens. So this game has the most advanced dirt physics or mud physics that you can possibly imagine. See, we're, we're stuck in here. Dirt is clinging to our tires. We can't get forward. So what to do? Well, we could turn on differential lock or all wheel drive. Let's do that and let's see how, yes, we're getting out of the mud. That did the trick. Oh, it's really hard to get out of here. Look at all these, look at that tray that I leave behind. Yeah, we're pretty much deforming mother nature right now. And uh, still, differential lock on all wheels don't do the trick. So what to do now? We might have to winch our way out of here. So what we're going to do, we're going to click the advanced menu, go to the winch source, click and something in the close area, in the proximity, and uh, let's winch our car out of the mud. There we go. Okay, that might have done a trick. So let's see if we can move forward now again. Okay, there we go. Yes, we're making progress. I think I can make it out of here. Oh no, yeah, so much for that. And I'm stuck again, so. Ooh, I can winch to that tree, let's do that. Urgh, come on, out of, there you go. Ideally you don't want to get stuck all the time. All right, let's park brake on, let's release the winch, give it a little bit of speed and let go of the park brake. Uh, well, oh, the park brake is still on. I should, I should release the park brake if I want to keep driving, yeah. All right, so we made our way out of this muddy situation and it's getting late. Yes, and you can see how beautiful this game looks. So beautiful. No, seriously, this is a really beautiful game. Oh, I took some damage there. So yeah, our cars have, or trucks have several, have different amounts of health, let's call it health. And this one can take up to 300 damage and the faster you hit something, the more damage you take, or if you drive through water that is too high. Pretty much everything that would damage a real car will damage this car. And even if you're driving too fast on a rock that's just laying on the ground, you will take damage. This is a really realistic game when it comes to car physics, the damage model, and getting stuck in mud. Right, so we're trying to make our way through the forest. You can drive everywhere in this game. If I wanted to drive between the trees, I could drive there. I could. It's just easier to stay on a few paths and then alternate between that. But right now I think 
Where do I want you to go? Let's have a look on the map for a bit. Oh yeah, this is not unlocked, so I have no way of knowing which would be a good path. So I'm just gonna wing it here. And it's getting quite late. It is getting quite late. Um, should not drive through the water here. Let's turn on the light so we see something. And we're gonna try to squeeze our way between the trees here. There we go. Okay. Try to drive through the forest here. Uh, river, I mean, sorry. We could try that. But I kind of want to wait until it's daytime again. Uh, I'm playing in the casual mode, which means that I can advance the time as much as I want. Like this, if I open up the map. And it will drain 11 liters of fuel, but I can skip 9 hours, so I did that. Starting up the engine again. And it's morning again. It's dawn. Alright, so now we see a little bit more and we can make, hopefully make our way over this little river here. Oh yeah, dangerous water levels. Oh no, oh no, oh no. That was, I, no, that's not, not a good place to be. Yup, 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 this car, this car is pretty much done. What, can I, can I get out of there? No, 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 the water takes me away. And my car is getting, well, washed away by the river. I got a little bit cocky there. So, look at that water. I think I think this car is totaled. I don't know. Oh, it's actually getting washed ashore. That's nice. I can't start it anymore because the engine is pretty much broken, but... What do we have to do now? We have to repair that car or rescue it. Since I'm playing in the casual mode, I can just press F1, click the garage, click it, and rescue it to my garage. And we're back with a fully repaired car. If I would play in the hardcore mode... I would not be able to do so. I would not be able to just rescue myself to the garage. But since it's casual mode, it's a little bit more forgiving, so we can just start back off and try another path. But for now, I'm going to take one of the bigger cars here. Oh, park brake is still on. Okay, let's park you at a better spot. Come on, come on over here. Let's put you right next to our big guys here. And we're going to change trucks. Um, I'm going to take... Uh, this guy? No, no, this is a big one, but not the one I need. I don't know if I was talking about it already, but you can install different add-ons to different cars. Not every car can be attached with everything. Wait, this one doesn't have the medium lock trailer. Oh, right, oh, sorry. This is not the one that we need for our lumber operation. Uh, I think this one is still here. I needed this one. This is our little guy that will transport our logs because every map has objective and that's usually delivering logs from A to B from the lumber to that construction site over here or the construction site over there. Uh, this map has two objectives and we are we found this guy next to the lumber mill when I unlock that and we can now use that one to our advantage or use that one to carry or transport logs. This one has a crane and a uh, medium log compartment. And we're just going to turn diff lock and all wheel drive on. Um, all wheel drive increases the amount of fuel that is necessary. Let's set back a little bit. We've got to be careful with that trailer at the end. And diff lock, well, it pretty much increases the damage. You oh. It increases the damage you take when you drive on the wrong place. But it makes the car easier to handle, definitely. So we are now on our way down here to load up some logs to bring them to the construction site. And these cars handle dramatically different. I mean, this is, this is a much bigger car, of course. No question about that. I need to turn to... And I'm not sure how I'm able to do that. No, not like this. You gotta be careful not to flip your car. Like this. Exactly. See? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm not I'm not good with these. I'm not good with these. Okay, don't fall over, Weasel. You have to take it slow in this game. And I'm not a very patient guy sometimes, so... This might be not the right game for me, or it might be just a game that I need. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm pretty much stuck. I can't do much now. Um, I don't think I will be able to uh, weasel my way out of this one. 
So there are several options that I have. If I was playing the hardcore mode, I would have to get another car and then winch myself out of this one. I cannot use the winch since my engine is not working anymore because my car is toppled over. In this case, I think I can only rescue myself to the garage, which is fine. Rescue ourselves to the garage. There we go. And we're back at the garage. Look at all these menus I have. I can also use the crane on this one, which is kind of cool. You can do all kinds of weird stuff with this one. You can actually grab another car with the crane. Usually you would want to use that with locks, but... I'm actually grabbing onto this car. I'm pretty sure this car is not happy about it. Since I was too impatient to turn the car, we now have to make our way back to the lumber mill. Come on, come here. So... Uh, I think I have everything that I want, so we have to drive back to the lumber mill. So we can load up the logs. Also, the models of the vehicles are super detailed, which is a really nice thing. They look really spectacular. And as I said, the mud simulation, you will not find a similar simulation of mud in any game. Just imagine driving up a steep hill that is totally muddy. Yeah, this game has every kind of mud that you can imagine. So this is a single player mode, but this also has a multiplayer mode, which is a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing with Dragast and some other people, and you can uh, basically work together to fulfill the objectives. You need to bring eight locks to a construction site, and if you are four people, you can do that much faster. Imagine someone taking just a repair vehicle that just follows the convoy to repair it. Or let's say someone who is just dedicated to put you out of your misery and drag you out of the mud. These are like the combinations and the strategies you have to think about in the single player experience. But you can do that in the multiplayer experience and it's a lot of fun surprisingly. Getting stuck in mud doesn't sound like a lot of fun. You might be surprised how challenging that is. I did not think I would enjoy the game that much. And I just like to explore the area. I'm not too much a fan of the objectives. I just like to explore the area and try to get everywhere with my little truck. But right now I'm trying to make our way back to the lumber mill. I have to take that turn here. Yeah, this one is bigger so you can just drive over little trees. You will still get stuck on the big ones naturally, but I have to position my truck properly. Ah, uh, the proper positioning. This might do the trick. Nope, still not, still not good, good enough, still not good enough. Great, and I'm stuck again. All right, let's see if we can winch our way out of here. Yes, we can, okay. Or not. I think there's a tree in the way. Just need to get past this one. Come on, you can do this, Weasel, you can do this. Just... Oh wait, I think I'm still attached to the ground. I should not do that. There we go. I'm free! I'm free! Freedom! Yeah, I'm not really good with these. Yeah, I might just stick with my little jeep here and explore the rest of the map. That sounds like a better idea. So if you click on the map, you can plan out like a little trip or something. I'm just trying that right now. Never did plan a real trip here with this thing. Okay. So let's see. Let's follow our route that we set up. Oh god. Yeah, as soon as you attach something to your car, it will handle differently. This one is much more top heavy now that I attached the trunk. You won't believe how big of a difference this is. But the physics handle really well. And you never feel that the physics are off. Uh, I think there has been one instance where I was able to glitch out of a situation. If you need it, if you need to like weasel your way out of a situation, you probably won't be able to because this game is really well made. Come on, you can do this, weasel. What the fuck are you doing, weasel? You need to be so patient in this game. The slower you drive, the better. The less likely you're going to get stuck. Alright, good, we made it out of there. Don't, don't you topple over, Weasel. Don't you topple over. Also, there is a lot to explore in these maps. Uh, there are many little pathways that lead to some locations, like an abandoned little house 
or in a construction site or maybe another vehicle that you can unlock. Sadly, there's the multiplayer... Oh god, that was too fast. I took a lot of damage here. Oh my god. Look at my car. It's really dented back there. And the tire as well. That's odd, but yeah. Your car will take some damage. You know what? Let's repair our car. Uh, there we go. Like new again. Okay. This happens if you drive too fast. Oh, okay, this is where I have to go. Wait, didn't I try this the last time and it went horribly wrong? Uh, I might have to look for another way over here because I don't feel confident that I can survive this with my little car. Um, this looks like a really good, like, one of the few spots that I could take. I might be better off taking another truck to get over there, but you know what? We're gonna try it. We're just gonna, just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. We might take some damage, but then I can repair myself. Oh no, oh, that was a really bad idea. That was a really bad idea. Well, I kinda expected something like this. Even if my car was still able to drive, I would not be able to winch my way out of this. So we need a much better and bigger car to get over this little crossing. Well, that's an unspectacular ending. I still hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna rescue myself to the garage again. So your Jeep is definitely not made to get over the water, but there are many other cars that you can use, like this little guy. This might actually be super easy to get over with this one. So let me give you a quick overlook what else is there in the game. So you currently have five different maps in this game, coast, the hill, plains, the river, and volcano, and they play drastically different. The hill is super steep, and the, the river has this big river in the middle, which is a big challenge. And I don't even know what volcano is about yet. I uh, haven't gotten to that one yet. Yes, you can select the mode for each one of these maps. The hardcore mode, you cannot rescue to a garage. You cannot skip time. You cannot engage the differential lock while using the automatic gearbox mode. Yes, you can. Uh, use a manual gearbox and the fuel consumption is higher. In the multiplayer mode you can work together to get across this and this leads to a very unique gameplay experience I'd say. So so if the game looks interesting to you and you are into off-road driving or are interested in driving just vehicles of that sort then this game is for you. You will probably not find a better off-road simulator or any off-road simulator for that matter that just gets close to the amount of detail that it is in this game. This is a beautiful game, it runs very well and the simulation is just astounding. This game is just amazing for the mud in it. I mean, the mud simulation is super interesting and this game leads to a lot of funny situations, uh, especially if you play it with some friends in the multiplayer mode, which I can highly recommend. It's a lot of fun to dig yourself out of the dirt or help your friends out of there laugh at your misery. Um, there's an active community around this game. There are already mods for this game. I don't know how moddable the uh, now released Steam version is, but I think the developer even has its own page for mods. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little review and I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm Weasel, I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye bye!